Hi, I don't think you can see me, but I'm in the reflection. Um, my name is Dakota, for the road family, and we are here at a training hill, learning how to hang glide. This is our um, fourth lesson, I do believe. Um, I don't know if you can read it. It says, Learn to Fly Hang Glider, San Diego Hang Gliding School. So that's where we're at. And um, Dad, my dad Rob, has been working on his hang gliding skills as well. I just stopped for a little water break and he has I think two more runs and then it's my turn again so I'll try and keep the camera somewhat pointed at him. I don't know. We'll see. If you guys can't see anything next time I'll wear it differently or something. We'll figure it out. But hopefully you guys get some good footage and just to dash all your hopes, no, we're not actually flying. We're pretty much running the whole time. But just to get to the point where we can fly, which is exciting. So. Our instructor, John, is talking to my dad about flaring. That's what you do right before you're at the bottom of a hill. You push out with your arms to get the glider to stall, pretty much. And you're supposed to bring your legs back in a straight so that your, your arms and your legs and your body are all in a straight line um, at an angle. And that's what slows the glider down so that you can land safely on your feet. Um, my flare form is pretty awful. I think... Uh, Dad's doing quite a bit better than me with that, but you guys can decide for yourself when you watch. Although you won't be able to see me, you'll just see the ground as I'm running. <laughs> kind of hurts my forehead, I might have to make it smaller after I do my runs. That was good flare form. Did you see how he he kind of straightened out and then waited until the glider almost came completely to a stop before before letting off on the flare and bringing his feet down. You guys might only be able to see the ground. I don't know what angle I have to be at. Let's see. From here out. Yeah, I think that's probably about right. Are we doing four and four? Yeah. Okay. Is this your fourth or third? Fourth, okay. So I'm gonna untie my glider. I had it tied up so the wind wouldn't get it. Um, one of the most important things in hang gliding. I'm gonna talk quiet so you can concentrate. Most important thing in hang gliding, not one of the, the most important thing in hang gliding, is making sure that you are buckled in um, you have a carabiner and you latch it in and that is very, very, very important because if you're not latched in and you go flying, you're going to find yourself falling because there's nothing to hold you to the glider except your hands and usually once you get in the air you're letting go so if you don't realize you're not buckled in that could be major 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 problems don't know if you can see I do a double loop because of my height shoulders 
So was that the wind or was that my fault? <laughs> Probably means it was my fault. So keep it in more? Well, no, you want to let it go to trim. You want to be running basically at trim. That's a, you should do some hands-off ones to get that to do an Okay. 